want me to make the gravy? Oh, no, it's all ready. <laughs> Everything's ducky. <laughs> oh, call Edgar, will you, dear? Oh, Edgar, will you get washed up? Yeah, I'll be right with you, Mother. I wish you'd quit playing with those guns. They're dangerous. Oh, don't be silly, Mother. I've been handling guns since I was a kid. When I go hunting, it's three shells, three ducks. Hmm. Well, how many shells did you use today? You only brought home one duck. Oh. Have you got his application off this? Sure, look. Straight life policy for 30000 My commission will be $300 if I can get him to take it. Well, he's got to take it. After all, if you're going to be an insurance agent, it's Edgar's duty to help you. Sure. Get it, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Edgar, come on, dear. Oh, boy, what I'm going to do to that duck. <laughs> It's all right, honey. No damage done. Oh, you're about scared me to death. <laughs> I do wish you'd be more careful, darling. You know, someday you might kill yourself with one of those guns. Yes, and you without one cent of life insurance. Sure. Say, I've got an application right here. Oh, do we have to go all through that again? I don't see how you can be so selfish. What's to become of us when you die? Well, certainly think of your family once in a while. It might be a good policy if you took out some insurance for yourself. Huh? Now, Edgar, don't be unreasonable, dear. After all, brother and mother are right. Everyone should have some insurance, and brother self-insurance. Oh, all right, I'll take out a couple of thousand dollars. A couple of thousand? Why, that's hardly enough to bury you. You'll take out 30,000. 30,000? Are you crazy? Oh, oh, I'll get it out. I'll get it out. Well, Dr. Fitz, come right in. This is a coincidence. Uh, 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 I was just talking about life insurance to my brother-in-law. Good. I'm right on time. Have you got it all set? Uh, folks are having dinner. Come in. I want you to meet them. Yeah, I'll be very glad to. Dr. Fitz, this is my mother, my sister, Mrs. Kennedy, and my brother-in-law, Mr. Kennedy. So well, how are you, Mr. Kennedy? Dr. Fitz, our medical examiner. I'm here, Doctor. Have you the application made out? Everything's ready except the signature. There we are. Sit down, mother. Dr. Pitts, you see before you a duck, a roasted duck. Oh, yes, a duck. I'm very fond of roasted duck. In fact, I might say it's one of my favorite dishes. Well, that's fine. I've waited 11 months for duck season to open. Today, I walked 16 miles through slush and swamp. Taking a chance on catching pneumonia. Oh, uh, pneumonia. Do you know, Mr. Kennedy, the deaths in this country from pneumonia? I'm not going to die of pneumonia. Well, what guarantee have we got? Well, sure. Here today, gone tomorrow. Isn't that right, Doctor? Yeah. Now, brother. Now, brother. Oh, Doctor, just show him where to start. Uh, right here, please. Here's a pen. Oh, no, well, there's no use arguing. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're satisfied. Well, Mr. Kennedy, if you'll just step into the bedroom for a moment. What? They'll check your physical condition. I'll give you a quick going over. You just gave me a quick going over. Now, Edgar, please. After all, darling, you can't expect the insurance company to take chances. <laughs> Go along with a nice doctor. That's dear. Eddie? <laughs> Here we go. I've got him hooked. Well, I knew you could. <sighs> Good night, Mr. Kennedy. You certainly made a fair examination, Doctor. Well, I have to be very careful. Well, Doc? I'm sorry, but I cannot punish your brother-in-law at this time. Well, why not? But, Doctor, you just told Edgar he was in fine condition. No, I didn't want to worry him, and I don't want to frighten you. It's nothing serious, just a little nervous condition. But what should we do? Well, I want you to have this filled and give him a teaspoonful with his meal. Yes, Doctor. And don't let him know he isn't well. He'll just worry and aggravate his condition. I see. But I'll have to tell him he's not getting his policy. That's up to you. I'll see him again in a week. If he's all right, you can write his policy then. Well, 
Well, thank you very much, Doctor. Just don't let him uh, get excited or roll about anything. Good night. Good night, Doctor. Good night, Doctor. Well, I'll go up the corner with you, Doctor. Why? Do I feel good? Oh, Mother, and Brother, too. You must look after Edgar today. Be sure that he gets his medicine, but don't let him know he's getting it. I've got it right here. Oh, that's fine. Hate to leave him, but it's my day at the USO Canteen. I won't be home until late. Oh, uh, Brother, be sure to get the rat poison for the cellar. Mm -hmm. And will you stop at the art store and pick up that enlargement of Edgar's photograph? <laughs> I want to surprise him for his birthday. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Street. That big rummy would have to develop a blood pressure at the wrong time. Never mind, dear. We'll cure him. Oh, hello, Edgar. Oh, good morning, Edgar. Sleep well, Eddie? Yes, I'll sit right out here, dear. Well, I'll have your breakfast ready in just a minute. Yes, indeed. <laughs> there you are. Here's your morning paper, Eddie. What's the idea? Huh? I never got so much attention from you two before in my life. What happened? Why, nothing's happened. Not a thing. Not a thing, huh? By the way, when do I get that insurance policy? Well, it'll take a week or so before it gets through. A week? Well, but you're covered right now. Sure, if you were to die today, we'd uh, get $30,000. We? What do you mean, we? Well, we decided to have three beneficiaries. 10000 to Florence, 10000 to Mother, and 10000 to me. Is that so? Well, I'll change that. There you are, Edgar. Are you feeling all right, dear? Yeah, I feel fine. What do you mean, do I feel all right? Of course I feel all right. Uh, gee, that coffee smells good. I believe I'll have another cup more. Oh, well, here, take mine. I don't care for any this one. Oh, thanks. <coughs> I've changed my mind. Uh, maybe you'd like a glass of milk, Ed, good dear. Yeah, yeah, maybe milk will be all right. What's the matter, Edgar? Have you lost something? Yes, I lost my appetite. Mm -mm. Sounds pretty serious, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, now, I recall a similar case a few years ago. State versus Harriet Horner. Uh, she administered poison in her son-in-law's coffee so she could collect his insurance. Oh, well, I can't believe it, Mr. Swift. This is my own family. It happens every day. Now, I recall another case, State versus Richard Finley. Finley's brother-in-law didn't drink coffee, so he used a double-barrel shotgun. Shot him? Yep, collected $10,000. Uh, how much insurance do you carry? Oh, I carry... Oh, $30,000. That's a lot of money, Kennedy. Sure, there is a lot of money, but what am I going to do about it? Well, of course, this is a little out of my line, but for a reasonable fee... Anything you say. Good. Now, first of all, we've got to get some concrete evidence. Can you arrange to get them out of the house this evening? Why, yes, I guess so, but what for? Leave that to me. Meet me there at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock it is. Well, goodbye. Uh, that'll be $100. $100? Oh, that's a lot of money. I... 
I can't afford that. No? <laughs> Just remember, Kennedy, you can't take it with you. Oh. <laughs> you go in and make sure Edgar's there home. Don't but have a fit if he saw this picture. Oh, I'm not. Oh, Edgar. Eddie. Edgar. Are you home, man? Well, he's not here. Good, then we've got time. <laughs> Won't the old ox be surprised when he finds out we've got him free? Where do you think we should hang? In the dance? No, in a spoil the room. Let's hang the old bozo in the basement. Well, we'd better get him out of the way before Florence comes home. Sure. I'll get some wire or a piece of stout cord. Oh, oh by the way, did you get the rat poison? You bet. Enough to kill a rat. We know you're in there. Come out or I'll shoot. You're in a bad spot. Toto, this is no job for me, Kennedy. I'm going to get the police. Oh, come here. No. Oh. Uh, maybe he went out the window. Well, if he did, I'll get him. Uh, now, you watch the door. Uh. Not yet, but I will. There goes Wall! Now I've got you. Right over there. I'm going to get out of here before it does. Well, he's gone insane. Well, what do we do? I'll call an ambulance, and you see that he doesn't get out. Until the coroner gets there. 
What's going on here? What did you see? All my the clients ran upon the constitutional rights and refused to answer any questions. Ah, uh, shut up. You're the mother-in-law and brother-in-law? Yeah. We can collect his life insurance as soon as he's buried. But he hasn't got any life insurance. Oh! Yes, I have oh. life insurance. Oh. 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 Get away from me, you murderous What? She put poison in my coffee and tried to shoot me. Oh, don't be silly. I had nobody trying to shoot you. We thought you were a burglar. Then what about the poison? Oh, that was medicine the doctor gave us so that you pass your examination. Oh, then I didn't pass my examination. No. And I haven't any insurance. Not yet. <coughs> I think I'll be going. Where's the victim? Right here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that and brother look funny. <laughs> what are you doing? Practicing first day? Look. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Hello, Edgar, dear. Hello, Did you have a busy day? Ah, uh, yes, very busy. How do you feel? Oh, I feel fine. I never felt better in my life. Oh, Mr. Uh -huh. Kennedy, remember me? Oh, yeah, you're my attorney. And you're wrong. I'm your brother-in-law's attorney. And we're suing you for $10,000 damages. Assault and battery. Let's see you in court. Oh, <laughs> Edgar, isn't that wonderful? Just think, dear, his brother wins the $10,000, and you can stick with him, and you'll each have... 